Let's just see. <laughs> On that happy little note, oh, yes. we, we'd like to hear some notes from Patty. It's time for some of your lovely music. And uh, what uh, what is our first song that you might sing for us? Well, I was going to do some uh, Walking After Midnight. Let me get all... Uh, but you got to understand, I'm in the back of the car. Yeah, you need a little light on the side. No, subject? don't need light. Just need... Uh, <laughs> Just need a little, uh, little patience. A little patience, and I got to put my guitar on, and, and we can uh, we can talk about uh, uh, we can promote your uh, next. Con you said something about you got a new gig, and you're kind of jazzed about it. Well, I'm going. I, I'm. Uh, I go to the retirement homes. Not in my face. I go to the retirement homes, and I go to uh, uh, nursing homes, and I'm I'm going to be. I, I I was at Jack Aranda Trace here in Venice not too long ago, which is a huge uh, independent living place plus uh, all the other facilities. And uh, I'm asked, I've been asked to come back, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, wonderful bunch of people. I know some people that were there. I don't know if they still are or not, because I haven't been there for a while. But uh, I'm very excited about going back. Cool. But I'm also excited every day about going down, or every Saturday, about going down to Turtle Beach Grill on Siesta Key. I am there every Saturday from 4.30 until 8.30. Now that's a uh, great gig, actually. That is a great gig, and down on Siesta Key. I turn, love Siesta Key. Yeah, when you go down to uh, Midnight Pass Road, you turn left. Yep, yep. Yeah, I turn left right across from Turtle Beach Grill, right before Sweet. Turtle Restaurant. Good gig. How well, long have you been playing there for? Uh, been eight years now. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm, it's awesome. So uh, if, I'm inviting, inviting you all down for that. So. You okay. mean up? What's that? You mean up? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> Whatever direction you're going coming from, I invite you, I invite you to come down to come come to see us to keep uh, to Turtle Beach Grill. Okay, well, you'll be in for a good time if you do. Yes. Yeah, so, well, it's it's a fun time. It's out. It's a it's a an outdoor venue with a tiki hut, a good food, full bar, so you can have a good time. Okay, I have uh, a little tune called uh, "Walking After Midnight." I want to see something here. Uh, Make sure it's uh this little amplifiers that's good. That's it. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's your gig right now. Yeah, it's my it's You're my gig. Charge. I can do what I want. That's You're right. In charge, I'm just trying to get my myself together here and make it sound like it's supposed to sound uh so you might want me to come back <laughs> yeah oh yes we do <laughs> that's a given i go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight just like we used to do i'm always walking after midnight searching for you I walk for miles along the highway Well that's just my way of saying I love you Always walking after midnight searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me As the skies turn gloomy, night wind whispers to me I'm lonesome as I can be I go out walking after midnight out in the starlight just hoping you may be somewhere a walking after midnight searching for me you're always walking after midnight searching for me Bravo, bravo, Patty. Uh, you gonna give us another one? Thank you. Uh, sure. You know, you know which one uh, Sunset Lady and I want to hear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she does. I told her. <laughs> this is a uh, Leanne Rhymes tune. Uh, uh, a, a gentleman called Bill Mack uh, wrote the song of uh, the first verse, and a friend of mine from Thermopolis, Wyoming, where I was raised, uh, wrote the second verse of this song. Her That's name cool. Was Polly Exley. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I've got the recording of her singing this song, and she should have done it, but it was way back in the '60s, so uh, late or late '60s, early '70s. But anyway, uh, I love the song. I first time I heard it, 
my daughter and I were down in Nashville. Uh, and we're going, we were in a record, uh, a record uh, shop. Um, and uh, that this came over the intercom. And I thought, my goodness, who is that? Because Leanne was like 13. Mm -hmm. And she just did a fabulous job. But anyway, this is my version. <laughs> okay, let me see what I'm doing. Why it's our favorite one. <laughs> I have a, I have a captive audience here, folks. Uh, yeah. Patty, I, I didn't know that Leanne, you told me it was Leanne Rimes, but I didn't know that she wrote it when she was 13. No, no, she sang it. Oh, sang she sang it. it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She sang it when she was 13. I got you. Yeah. I got how, you. how about a song that you wrote, Patty? Can you do that one for us? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, Tell them the story of that one. Uh, the story of this one is uh, <laughs> uh, the, the uh, Reader's Digest convert version of it was. <laughs> Is uh, 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 I, I was I was married at the time, and the gentleman I was married to uh, wrote the sat down and wrote the first verse to this song. I wrote some words down. He, he didn't know how to put them all out and you know how to make the song flow or anything. So he wrote the first verse, and then uh, he gave it to me. And I sat down and cleaned it up and you finished wrote a it. second verse. Oh, you finished it. And, right. and I wrote a second verse and finished it all up. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, I have it. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, with with uh, ASCAP and BMI, so nobody steals it from me. Because if they want to steal it, they gotta pay me residual residuals. Good, good. Okay, so, but anyway, uh, uh, I sang this at a contest down in Arizona, and uh, uh, I would have won, according to the other two judges. But the one judge says that it was the the title, the title was too much like another song, or was like another song. And I'm saying, what has the title got to do with the song itself? No, so, you can't copyright a title. I don't. Well, it wasn't. That's what I mean. A lot of people like wrote a song called New York, New York. Yeah. Anybody can write a song called New York, New York. Right. So okay. You can't copyright. So I, I, well, mine was, mine was from. It's, it's called From This Moment. No. Yeah. Okay. And the one that Shania Twain had out was from the moment. No, no it's mine's totally from different. the moment. Mine's from the it's totally moment. Different. Totally and different. And Shania was from this moment on. Well, he 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 knocked me out of the winning by saying that. So I didn't get to, I didn't get to take my sting in Nashville and I ate nothing. But anyway, anyway, it's okay. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm not upset. Uh, yes, I am. But, <laughs> <laughs> we love honesty. And I may I may get over it someday, but I'm not yet because he ruined he ruined my my chance, you know, by saying that the title, nothing about the song how 
the song, everybody had me going. Was he a studio owner or producer? Who was this guy? Oh, uh, he was supposed to be. Record a, company. He was supposed to be some big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New, yeah. new music. Yeah, those fat cats don't know anything. No, they don't. But, well, he thought he did, but then, okay. No, I'll they don't. Credit where credit is due, but he wasn't right <laughs> about me. So anyway, this is the song that is called From the Moment. And I just, I just want uh, Trisha Yearwood to sing it, or Carrie Underwood. Okay. From the moment I first met you, I knew in my heart that I've always loved you. I felt it from the start. Your blue eyes seemed to tell me that you were meant for me. From the moment I first met you, I knew from the start that I always loved you in my heart. And now, as I hold you, it seems so clear to me that you and I were always meant to be. Night is swiftly falling as we dance across the floor. The time it goes so quickly, I seem to love you more and more. Now, as I hold you, I know in my heart from the moment I first met you, I knew from the start that we'll never part. From that moment, I knew it in my heart. Oh, wonderful, Lovely. Wonderful. I've, I've read that countless times from your concerts, and uh, this is a great, 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 great song. It, it, is, a, it, it is a good song. And it, no, and it it's a great be, song. It's a, a generic song. I mean, it's a general song. It's, it can be it's a, a pop song. Well, yeah. It's like his Country song. pop. It can, mean, it can mean to anybody. You know, it can be a girl or a boy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. You know, the lyrics so, are great. You wrote the lyrics. You wrote the melodies. It's like the song that he wrote about right around this town. It could be any town. Yeah. Any, anywhere around the world. That's right. That's and, right, yeah. and this uh, Sunset family goes around the world, so that's awesome. It'd be wonderful for them to hear you all that's, around the world. We're getting a lot. Of, you're getting a lot of acrylides, uh, yes. acrylides, <laughs> whatever the word is. Wait till you read the chat. I'm trying oh. to speak. And now Patty's going to surprise us with the last song. Okay. Oh, uh, well, you can tell us what's coming, but I mean, well, we don't know what's coming. Well, yeah, you kind of do, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a song that I end all my uh, my uh, sessions with uh, when I'm up performing, and everybody likes to sing along. And it's a song that Roy, uh, the Dale Evans wrote for Roy Rogers, uh, mm -hmm. and her and Roy sang this song for like 20 bazillion years <laughs> as they rode off into the sunset on their horses, uh, Trigger and Buttermilk, after the TV program, singing this song. Well, I think not, because I raised on a farm right out of Thermopolis, Wyoming. And I tried riding off into the sunset singing this song like Roy and Dale did. Well, it can't be done with any coherency on a Shetland pony. Because <laughs> I tried doing it for many years. And you sound like Alvin the Chipmunk on helium, you know. So I, you mean uh, it was lip synced? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Probably, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. You're doing it, it live, well, but you're not on a horse. If it wasn't lip sync and they were riding on phony horses. <laughs> uh, on, 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 on Could horses. be Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, y'all can sing along with this song, and you can remember it. It'll be in your brain for about a week. We'll let everybody at home sing along, but we want to let you sing well, yes. by yourself. Mm -hmm. But they can sing along yes. at, at home. Yeah. And, and you, it'll be in your brain for about a week. Correct. Yeah. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song 
Bring the sunny weather, happy trails to you. Till we meet again. One more time. Happy trails to you. Sing it with gusto until Til we meet again. again. Happy, happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song, bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you till we meet again. Awesome, Patty. Yay! Did you Say know? yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw! You know that Danette was singing along with you, she said. Oh, bless her heart. She'll be singing it for about a week now. <laughs> or her rest of her life. For the rest of her life, yeah. <laughs> singing up in heaven as well. I mean, that's... Uh, no, that is how you close all your sets out. Yep. Yeah. And it's, yep. it's one, of your, that's her theme song. one of your trademarks and yep. stuff. And, 